Hello, this is Monica Semyonova and welcome to the Eat Globe Newsroom in Varna. While coffee trends originate by independent cafes on the fringes of the foodie world, they rarely go mainstream unless a big company such as Starbucks remakes them into a masses-friendly way. The newest big chain victim is the nitrogen-infused cold brew known as Nitro Coffee, which first arrived on the coffee scene back in 2012 and will be hitting Starbucks stores by the end of this summer. Nitro Coffee's distinguishing feature are the tiny nitrogen bubbles infused into the cold brew, which create a smooth flavor and a velvety texture resembling that of a dark stout ale. Another bonus of the Nitro Coffee is that it is naturally sweet and creamy without having any sugar or milk added to it. The Starbucks Nitro Cold Brew is made using Starbucks Cold Brew Coffee, which is steeped in a container of cold water for 20 hours. This centuries-old Japanese brewing method was adopted by Starbucks last year and elevates the naturally sweet flavor of the beans and decreases coffee's acidity characteristics. The, the Starbucks cold brew coffee is kept in cool kegs and is infused with nitrogen upon being poured from the tap. Even though Starbucks is not the first retailer to offer nitrogen coffee in its stores, its aim is to become the largest by the end of this summer when Nitro Cold Brew will be made available in more than 500 Starbucks locations among, among major US cities such as New York, Chicago and Boston. The beverage is already causing hype among Starbucks enthusiasts in Seattle, where it has become the second best-selling drink on the menu of the company's flagship Reserve Roastery location. Overall, it is not surprising that Starbucks decided to implement Nitro Coffee to their menu, as cold brew across US has increased its sales by more than 300% just in the, five, in, the, in the past five years alone. This was all for today, but if you are curious to find out more, please visit eatglobe.com. Thank you for watching.